Hello and welcome to another edition of The Strike. Hello everybody, it's me Ross and welcome to the third edition of The Strike Invitational where fans go head to head to test their knowledge on their club and today I'm joined by Ben and Dan and I'm going to be very intrigued to see how they're going to get on. Who will join Brad and Bono into the next round? I'm going to go over to you first Ben. How are you feeling taking on Dan in this battle of the wits? Um, I don't think Dan will mind me saying, but we're slightly different age groups, only only slightly, so that there'll be a crossover there, which will be interesting. Um, but looking forward to uh, seeing how many I can get right out of the five, and um, good luck to both of us, I guess. There we go. Well, well said, Ben. And uh, Dan, how are you feeling? Hello. It's all about the questions. It's all about the questions. I'm telling you now, if there's anything on John Duncan's era... I'm champion, but I think I'm the dark horse in this, and I think I think it's Ben's to lose. I'm putting my glasses on. I'm getting serious. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, here we go then. Well, um, if you haven't watched the previous two episodes, you can play at home. The questions will appear below me, so uh, let us know how you get on. I'm intrigued to see who's going to go to the next round. So, first question is on a goalkeeper, and um, it's a random goalkeeper, and it's Clive Baker. I think you know Clive Baker. Yeah. Of <laughs> course, played in the 90s in the Premier League. How many clean sheets did Clive Baker make in 58 games for town? I was surprised about how many games he played. Um, fun fact. Actually, I ain't got no fun facts on Clive Baker. Um, I liked the yellow goalkeeper shirt back then in the 90s. It looked, looked pretty cool. Um, I yes. just remember he was absolutely tiny for a goalkeeper. Oh. Got, lobbed, oh. got lobbed by Dean Saunders when he was on his line. Oh, that, that was at a Villa goal? Yeah. yeah. I was there yeah. for that. Yeah. The only reason why I know that, because someone did a my TFC recently and he mentioned that goal. I think that was his first like game at Porton Road. So that's the only reason why I know that. But um, yes, anyway, how many clean sheets? Once again, closest number gets the first point. Bring up your sheet of paper when you're ready. 11, Okay. All right, let me just, sorry, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm at 11 and what, 12. Ooh, it's 16. Ah. Ooh, a point to Dan. Ooh, just got in there. Sometimes that's the best way to forward sometimes. It's just getting that one ahead or, or one lower. Then you always get the point. So one new to Dan. Question two is on Darren Bent. Now, how many goals did Darren Bent score in 141 games for the Blues? Once again, closest number to the correct result. I think I've done this before on a podcast. I've, I've, some of these questions are probably done on the, the main podcast, just rehashing the questions, but you got to sometimes when there's, you know, I've done like 100 shows. Darren Bent, 141. Of course, two very good seasons when we got in the playoffs. Of course, he broke through when we were in the Premier League and all that. I think he scored... A few times in the Premier League for us. I think one one or two goals, something like that. But anyways, how many goals do you reckon? Dan, of course, with a point. All right, bring up when you're ready. Okay. 47. 60. I'm sorry to say, Ben, it's 55. So Dan oh. is two. <laughs> Little up, <laughs> and Dan, you, you shook your head. You were like, I don't know. You weren't confident going into this question. It's just, is this just not your your, your I, 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 Not really. I stopped watching Ipswich around for a long time around then, but I don't know. I don't know how they, how, I'm, how I'm two nil up. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm quite like a draw. We're quite close. Both of us quite close on both questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to be ruthless. Sorry, it's got to be a point to Dan. So 2 0 <laughs> going into question three. And question three is on good old Ivan Campo. Of course, recently featured in the Manscape um, sponsorship. Um, but yes, he scored once in 30 games for town. But who against was it? Uh, this is a 3 0 win, by the way, at Porton Road. Um, is it Doncaster, Barnsley, or Wolves? I thought it had a little extra clue in there. A 3 0 win it was. I've got a feeling he's a long ranger. Get a long ranger. I think so. I think it could be a free kick. Was it a goalkeeper mistake? Squeeze through the goalkeeper. Yeah. 
probably yeah. I don't know who it was against. <laughs> yeah, I was saying. I think I was there. But I don't remember it. Right. I, remember I remember the, the goal. goal but I don't know. Um, yeah. So yeah, Doncaster, oh. Barnsley, or Wolves. Bring your win. Huge pressure here. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. I don't know if I can bring the pad up, Ross. Right. Barnsley, Donny. And ba- Ben, out of nowhere, has got a point. It's Barnsley. Oh. <laughs> One. Game on. Well, it w- yeah, because I think if you got that right, Dan, it would pretty much, yeah, that would have been game over. That would, because there's no chance for, for Ben to get in, get back in. Oh, no, 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 no. Keeping it entertaining. Yes, yes. Yeah, it'd be a bit bored. Yeah, it'd be a bit, a bit, a bit if it was a you know, whitewash, just you know, free for now. Just now. Th- thanks, right. Ross. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah. You're doing well, Ben. You're doing well, Ben. Once again, it's been close. The answers have been quite close. All right, question four is on Jermaine Wright. Now, he signed for town in 1990, but for all, from which team? Is it Wolves, Crew, or Doncaster? I'm just pretty confident realized, with this I'm... one. Before you yeah. said the answers, I'm going. I'm going. I'm pretty confident. He was it, for a long time. He was my favourite player. I had his name on the back of my shirt. Slightly controversial, but he was a he was a proper player. A proper player. Great player. I didn't know that, Dan. I didn't know that, Dan. I didn't know that was his favourite player. I wouldn't have used that question if I knew that. But it's just it's luck of the draw. The questions. Well, there let's we go. see. Okay, let's go. I still could be wrong. <laughs> could be What's wrong, the yeah. It's, it's, it's 2-1. 2-1, right. 2-1 to you. So, yeah, if you if you get this right, then, I th- yeah, you've won. So, let's see. But then if, if you both get it right, then I think, yeah, we're, it's 3-2 and it's on to the final yeah, question yeah, and yeah. Ben can get the tiebreaker. Okay, go ahead. Okay, crew. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, it is crew. It is good old crew. There we go. So it's um, what's what's we'll see. What's the score? Three, three two. two. Three two. Okay then. Oh, it's all down to this. It's all down to this. Okay. Toro Mings is the question. He made his town debut against who in 2013? Now. Was against Forest. I think I know this. Burnley or Sheffield Wednesday. I don't think Dan is happy with this question. No, well, I, I don't know it because it, the people I thought it was wasn't one of those options. Okay. Yeah. Forest, Burnley, or not in Forest. Forest. Was it Forest, Burnley, or Sheffield Wednesday? Uh, not in Forest, Burnley, and Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Got, got me options ready. Oh. So can Ben pull this back for a tiebreaker? Tension is high. Thinking, yeah, they've got the whiteboards out. Doing their research. Okay. Take it away. I want to do, let, let's, let's, Dan, bring yours up first. <laughs> ben won't have enough time to change it. Sheffield Wednesday, okay. Ooh, I have put a different answer. Okay. Oh, it's Burnley! Oh, oh my God! Highbreaker is needed. Oh my God! I'm off my feet. Oh, it was the end end of the season. We lost two 0 at Burnley. I think Jack Marriott oh, made his right. debut that day as well. Yeah, I remember the game. It was absolutely awful. I watched it when I should have been working for a previous employer. So there we go. I think we're on the, the white kit. The, par- the parachutist fell on the roof. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 Fun fact. Fun fact. There we go. That's, that's what the strike invitation was about. It's fun fact. More questions like that, please. Yeah, yeah. All right then. Oh, well done, the Final. Ben. Oh, Cheers, tiebreaker time. <laughs> tiebreaker. I'm, I'm pleased. We've got the final. We've got a tiebreaker. We're going to use it. Um, and <laughs> I don't know if um, this is going to be a good question for Dan or Ben. I don't know. It's it's on a it's on a, on a player that um, well, you know, it wasn't a party if he didn't play. Um, and it is good old Ballot Biner. How many oh. games did he play for town? Oh, I think Dan knows it. He's got, he's got the pet out and he's like, he knows it. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. Oh, oh, dear. Okay. Once again, this is all competitions. It's not league. It's all competitions. 
I think he got replaced, didn't he? Like, 43rd minute half on his debut. Time, he played, yeah, he played. He got replaced at half time, didn't he? In his first he appearance, was, first game of the season. He, he scored in pre season. Scored in pre season. You know, yeah, pre season doesn't count for this, does it? <laughs> no, no. How many games? Not goals. How many games? Oh, yeah. Once again, games could. Yeah, no, it's, game, it's league games and cup games and all that. Yeah. Competitive fixtures that count. Pre season is just, you know. Right. So, li league and cup. Yeah. So, whatever it is, if it's over five, I'll be astounded. I, he was absolutely shite. Yeah. I've put my put. It's a complete guess. Okay. All right. Em. Oh, both at the same time. Both bring up at the same time. So you know, let's see. Let's see. I'm on edge of my of my seat right now. I'm interested to know. All right. Em. Let's go. Okay. I think it's really low, which is three. I'm six. I'm sorry to say, Ben, it's seven. Ah. Oh. And there's Dan is through to the next round. Ben, oh, I'm so sorry, my friend. Um, Great game. What have you got to say? Great game. Yeah, well done, Ben. Sorry, mate. I can't. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I was bizarrely looking at his Wikipedia page today. You knew. How, you know, I may, I may bring it, bring him out. That's how sad I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's good that you've been. Get, you guys are getting your research in. Um, but Dan, how, how do you feel? You're progressing. You'll be joining Brad and Bono into the next round. Oh, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. I'm going to go and have a glass of milk. <laughs> Very pleased. And Ben, uh, it's disappointing to be knocked out in the first round, but well played, my friend. Yeah, devastating. I'm glad the pubs are back open. Um, I don't know how far I'll recover. Um, hopefully be back in pre-season, come back stronger. It's 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 really tough to take. But, um, you know, that, that's why we work hard on the training ground and we'll come back, uh, you know, I'll come back a better player next round, next next season. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll bring the strike invitational. It, I'm sure it'll be a fan's favourite. So, you never know. We could see Ben once again. But, uh, Ben and Dan, it's been a pleasure. The third outing of the strike invitational. Congratulations once again, Dan. We'll be back next time for another episode of the Shrike Invitational.